So in order to answer this question, we have first to define what is the time scale of an electron in an atom. And for that, we can use the model of uh, a nitrogen atom by Bohr, where you see here a positively charged core and an electron moving around this core. And to have an idea about the time scale of this electron moving around the core, we can calculate it with this equation, and we end up with a period time of about a hundredth of at a second. So what is an attosecond? An attosecond is, about, is actually 10 to the minus 18 second. And to give you an idea about what an attosecond is compared to a second, well, it's exactly the same as comparing a second to the age of the universe. So to access this information here of the motion of the electron, what we need is a flash of light extremely fast. And those flash of light are at a second pulse strain. In order to obtain this at a second pulse strain, we use a process that is called high harmonic generation that is based on the up conversion of a laser frequency into its high harmonic. This way, we obtain a coma frequency that is very large spectrally, which means that in the time domain, we obtain a train of at a second pulse. Now, what type of information we can get thanks to these pulses? Well, we can actually see electron motion in big uh, system like molecules, and we can see the changes of the molecules and how those changes appear, basically how a reaction, a chemical reaction happen. And the other possibility is also to understand how damage in cells happen, because any damage in cells starts by a motion of electron.